Hey, it's Steve from BikeTube with another video to pump you up. Today we're going to talk about how to properly change your inner tube. We're going to take you through a step-by-step -step process, how to remove your tire and tube, inspect and repair it, install a good tube, mount a tire, and inflate. There are so many different types of wheels out there, we're not going to go into how to remove all of them. But a good tip is, if you have a derailleur bike, shift the chain into the smallest cog in the rear. Then push the derailleur to the rear to make it easier to drop the wheel out. Always follow your manufacturer's instructions for proper wheel removal. Once you've removed your wheel from your bicycle, make sure the inner tube is fully deflated, if it isn't already. If there's a jam nut on a Presta valve, you can take that jam nut off now and set it aside. You'll want to begin the process of removing your tire on the side of the wheel opposite of the valve. Our tire pliers are very durable, stiff tire levers that can also be fitted together to be used to remove chain quick links. Or you can use our more basic true blue tire levers. Begin by slipping the end of a lever underneath the tire bead. Oftentimes you can now slide the lever along the rim and remove the bead that way. If the tire is particularly tight, you can hook the bottom of the tire lever onto a spoke and then begin working with a second lever. Once you've removed one of the beads, slide the other one into the valley of the rim. There is a valley or channel going down the center of the rim, which will give you enough slack to get the tire off by hand. Once you've removed the tire and tube from the wheel, keep the valve hole of the wheel and the valve on the inner tube oriented the same way. This will help you to identify what part of the tire or the wheel caused the puncture. Now, overinflate the inner tube to make it easier to find where the air is escaping. Be careful, if you have a patch on the inner tube, this could cause it to fail because inner tubes and patches stretch at different rates. Listen and feel for air escaping from the inner tube. Once you've identified where it's coming from, check the corresponding section of the tire and look for any sharp objects that may have penetrated the casing of the tire. You can remove those with needle nose pliers. Also check the corresponding section of the rim, checking for protruding spokes or burrs on the rim. If you can't seem to locate a leak in your inner tube, try submerging it under water and looking for air bubbles. Also check your valve. Sometimes the core of the valve can be leaking. If you have a Presta valve with a removable core, you can use our ADAPT tool to tighten the core back down. Resubmerge the valve underwater looking for air bubbles. The ADAPT tool is a great tool that can be used not only to tighten down valve cores, but also as an adapter so you can use a Schrader pump on your Presta valve. Sharp objects can be lodged inside of the tire casing, so be sure to look very carefully. Check the inside of the tire casing as well as the outside. If you found your inner tube was damaged around the edge of the base of the valve, it may be from an imperfection around the valve hole. You can smooth this out using a file. The bike tube tube sock is an elastic, abrasion-resistant booty that protects your inner tubes when you're carrying them in your seat bag or hydration pack. If you used a bike tube tube sock, you know your inner tube is going to be free from damage. Remove your tube from the tube sock. Bike tube inner tubes come with high quality, reusable silicone bands. Remove the valve cap from your inner tube, and if it's a Presta valve, open the valve. Now you can begin inflating, but only inflate the inner tube enough to give it some shape. 
Locate the valve hole on the rim and align the hot patch on the tire with the hole. This will allow you to not only find your valve more quickly, but also to have quick access to the recommended tire pressure. Check the tread on the tire to see if it's directional. Sometimes there is an arrow on the sidewall showing which way the tire should rotate. Install one of the tire beads completely onto the wheel. After the bead is completely on, take your partially inflated inner tube with the valve closed if it's a pressed valve and insert the valve stem into the hole in the rim. Now be sure to stuff the inner tube completely into the tire. At this point, you can put the jam nut back onto the pressed valve, but do not screw it all the way down. Begin to pull the other tire bead onto the rim, starting at the valve, and working your way equidistant from the valve on each side. Now comes the most difficult part of the process, getting the last bit of tire onto the rim. Begin working from the valve, pressing the two beads together into the channel on the rim, while at the same time pushing down on the tire. This will help create enough slack so that you should be able to get that last bit onto the rim by hand, using your thumbs and or the heels of your hands. Be very careful not to pinch the tube between the tire bead and the rim. A very tight fitting tire might require the use of a tire lever to finish the job, but be very careful not to pinch that inner tube in between the tire bead and the sidewall of the rim. Now you need to go all the way around the wheel on both sides, making sure there's no inner tube stuck between the sidewall of the rim and the bead of the tire. As you can see here, there's a small bit protruding. You need to make very sure that the inner tube is not twisted and that all of it is stuffed back inside of the tire. Bike tube inner tubes come with a thin coating of talcum powder to make this critical step easier. If you have a Presta valve that has threads on it, you can finish threading the jam nut onto the Presta valve now and inflate the inner tube to just about 10 or 20 PSI. You want to check the gap between the edge of your rim and the line molded into the sidewall of the tire. That gap should be even all the way around the wheel. Monitor this gap as you add air into the tire. You can double check it again by spinning the wheel and watching that gap. If that gap is high or low in any one section of the tire, you need to deflate the inner tube and reseat the tire. Once the tire is perfectly seated, go ahead and inflate the tire to your preferred pressure. If there was any inner tube trapped between the tire and the rim, you will probably experience a loud blowout and a tear in the inner tube like this one. Bike Tube's air handler floor pump makes accurate inflation easy. We feel it's the best value on the market today, and it includes an industrial gauge that is accurate to within 2%. One of the best ways to avoid getting a flat tire in the first place is to always keep your tires inflated to the proper pressure. Once you've inflated your tire to full pressure, be sure to close your Presta valve and then remove the jam nut if you choose. If you have a Schrader valve, be sure to put the valve cap back on to keep dirt out of the valve. Recheck that the tire is seated evenly. Now that you've fixed your own flat tire, it's time to reinstall your wheel. Always follow your manufacturer's recommendations when installing a wheel. If you release your brakes, make sure that they're tight again. If you have a quick release, make sure you install the wheel with the lever open, snug down the nut, and then close the lever firmly. Double check that the wheel is tight into the dropouts and is not going to fall out and is straight. You're back in business.